everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day since the last episode. Oh, have things gone awesome. Things have been going well around here. You may be able to notice there's a couple of iron golems down there. I have been very, very busy with this uh, house project since the last episode, trying to figure out why exactly it is I couldn't get the villagers to do any work or anything like that. And, well, uh, one of you guys in the comments area was saying, uh, I think you need to make a bell, or I think you need a bell in order to make a village now. I'm not entirely sure if that technically is the case. I looked up on the Minecraft wiki, and it doesn't seem to say anything specifically about a bell required to uh, make a village now but uh yeah not only is there two iron golems there's actually three these guys have spawned two iron golems out here uh this one i made myself uh but uh yeah guys we're about to go ahead and show you uh the true scope of what i've been doing since the last episode you may be able to notice there's another farmer here now you may also be able to notice there is a librarian here now. You may also, also be able to notice there's two clerics. Uh, and another librarian. And a stonemason. And anyone up here? Yep, yeah, there's another cleric. Basically, guys, I have been going ahead and trying to breed these villagers. And I feel like I've gotten the hang of how to breed these villagers now. Basically, you need a bed. You need some sort of workstation for them. And you need to trade with them so they become willing. And yeah, it's a good time, my friends. So we've got one, two beds there. We've got ourselves another bed down here. So that's now three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but I don't actually know how many dudes there are here. So there's, what, four so far. Uh, five, six, uh, any more? So seven and eight. Oh, yeah, I, did, I, think, I don't think I counted this one. So, yeah. Oh, wait, did I? I don't know. I don't know. I can't count, man. Oh, jeez. But, yeah, basically, guys, I've been trading a whole bunch, and there's a bunch of villagers here, and some of the trades they have are truly insane. Look at this. So, for one emerald plus a book, I can get a looting three enchanted book. That is the most insane thing I have ever seen in the history of Minecraft. One! One emerald! Surely that's got to be bugged. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it, but good god. One emerald for a looting three book. That's just so stupid. That is so dumb. And here we've got Aquafinity. One emerald for four glass. One more emerald for a Bane of Arthropods four book. But uh, as far as I can remember, yeah, look at this. Look, this guy sells quartz. We don't even need to go mining for quartz, guys. That is insane. We can buy quartz pillars and quartz blocks. It's a little bit expensive. It would have been nice if these sold like two or three pillar blocks at the same time. But yeah, look, we can buy bricks. We can buy chiseled stone bricks. We can buy terracotta. Like, this is so cool. Honestly, I love it. I absolutely love it. I genuinely do. But somewhere around is a villager that I haven't traded with yet. And I feel like I need to go find him. Well, guys, I'll be honest with you. It has been a very, 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 very long time since I've actually gone ahead and harvested the crops from my Flora Valley farm. But if we're going to be trading with a brand new farmer, then I guess it would make sense for us to do this. Uh, the first trade he has is wheat, so obviously that's always good. Uh, we've got plenty of wheat here, we've got a whole bunch of potatoes, and we've got ourselves a bunch of carrots as well, so that should be good enough to do a bunch of trading with. So, uh, let's get back to the house over here, and we are going to begin trading. That's what we're going to do. Right, so, one of these guys, ah, oh, there we go, he's only got a little uh, stone emblem on him, so this is going to be the guy we trade with. So, let's go ahead and trade as many times as we can. There we go. That should level him up according to the XP. Yeah, look at that. The emblem changed to an iron one. So we can now go ahead and buy pumpkin pies if we so wish. And you know what? I think I do wish. I think also we're going to buy some apples so we can rank this guy up again. There we go. So up to 28 levels. This guy now is gold. So we can go ahead and buy biscuits or cookies. Whatever floats your boat. I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need. So, Journeyman is the gold standard. Now, Emerald standard. So, now Expert. We do have ourselves a couple of suspicious dudes here. Uh, how many do we need to buy? 
Aha. Uh -huh. All right, we'll buy two of each. Why not? And then diamond standard is master. What can we get? Look at this. So we can buy golden carrots and glistering melons. Guys, golden carrots are arguably the best food source in the entire game. So there we go, guys. This guy is now fully ranked up, no longer has an XP bar, is now master ranked. So, what should hopefully happen, uh, well, hopefully, I, s I don't know. If there's enough beds in here, this they may go ahead and breed again? Alrighty, guys. So, if my understanding is correct, I have three beds here. I've got two lecterns, so one for each bed. And now what I'm going to do is make myself a stone cutter. Uh, at least hopefully I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. One iron ingot, three solid stone bits. So basically, guys, what should be able to happen now is as long as I put the beds and the workstation blocks within that same house, I should, in turn, be able to get myself two more librarians and one more mason. The reason why I want the mason is because it's the brand new villager for 1.14. I want to see what other kinds of trades I could get if I had another one of those guys. So, guys, we are going to begin by putting a lectern... Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have ourselves a lectern in there. We're going to have ourselves... Uh, let's put the stone cutter right there. And the third lectern... Uh, wait. Uh, sir, you need to move there, buddy. Uh, could I... Yeah, there you go. Boom. Oh, that's interesting. You can, <laughs> you can still have... A lamppost on top of a... Okay, that's very interesting. Right, so then. The real question is, do we have any space at all to put down some more beds? Technically, I could put down another one here. A nice little red one there. Why not? Any space up here? Uh, I mean... I, what? Oh, yeah. The, the, the guy made a sound. Okay, fair enough. Right, we could get rid of this chest in favor of another bed put down. Uh, I guess I could technically make a triple bed. If I move this... Over to the... Oh, God. I think I just destroyed one of their workstations. Uh, buddy, can you, like, move there? And then I could put down your workstation. There you go. All right. And then we're going to put down another bed right here. Yes, I am very much aware of the fact that I'm basically sacrificing the aesthetic of this base to uh, have more villagers. But you know what? I'm kind of all right with that. I'm kind of down with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh! Little baby spawned in. Okay, so all I did there was just like trade with a bunch of the master villagers. Oh my, wait. Are they giving love hearts again? Oh my gosh, these guys are insane. Just insanely procreating. That's what they seem to be doing. Right, where's the other farmer? Good day to you. Oh, I so you don't buy potatoes. I'm pretty, wasn't there like a third farmer? I don't even know. Hey buddy, would you like to go ahead and purchase a whole bunch of clay balls from me? Oh yes, you would. Enjoy. Oh, they're all going to sleep now. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to leave a bed for me? You're going to leave a... Oh, no, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, even the baby's freaking sleeping. I got a bed. Could I have a bed, please? Thank you. Wait. Huh, interesting. Are you going to come in here, brother? Oh, he, even he's sleeping. <laughs> oh, dude. This is so cool. I've got like a... I've got like an entire freaking civilization of villagers in one house. <laughs> Oh, dude. i got to be honest, I wasn't intending on spending, like, an entire episode just playing with 1.14 villagers, but I don't know, maybe, I, at least I hope you guys are learning a thing or two from me uh, playing around with said villagers. I mean, I don't know. Most of it is kind of the same thing as before. You trade with the villagers, they become willing, and then away they go. But you can actually go ahead and give them a profession as opposed to them having a random one. So, <clears throat> basically... What should happen is when this guy grows up, he should, if my theory is correct, either be a librarian or a stone cutter or a mason even. Hey guys, and check it out. You can actually buy lanterns. Huh? That's pretty cool, right? And of course, you know, you got the good old glass trades as well, which is absolutely fantastic. If I really wanted to, I could buy a name tag as well. Ooh. I am loving this new trading system for 1.14. By the way, I do have a double chest, which is just entirely full of trades that I've bought. Uh, this is all stuff that I am selling to them. And then this is all stuff that I've bought from them. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Look at this. You know, there's the looting book, ender pearls. I could buy ender pearls for one emerald each. An absolute freaking steal, guys. And like I say, you can purchase quartz blocks as well. Ah, oh, dude, I love this. I really, really do. Okay, so these guys literally just decided to spawn another iron golem within the confines 
of this place now, meaning there is now, what, four iron golems roaming around? So there's this one. Uh, there's another one here. Any more around the outside here? Any more for any more? <laughs> We're about to have an iron golem empire here, my friends. I think we've inadvertently made a freaking iron farm, except if I was to start killing these guys, uh, the villagers probably wouldn't be very friendly with me anymore. Alrighty, guys, so check it out. I was correct. My theory is right. We have managed to control what this villager was, and it is indeed the stone cutter, which means the last two remaining villager babies, wherever they may come in, are guaranteed to be librarians. So, yeah, awesome. All right, so check it out, guys. Got some trades going on here. Buy ourselves some of these beautiful rocks here. The beautiful rocks that make flower pots. You guys know how it goes. Right, if we had ourselves a little bit of clay i could finish getting that leveled up so let me go to the nearby lake oh wait i heard another baby there's another baby guys look all right this one's guaranteed to be a librarian so yeah. <laughs> guys this is sick hello there sir right hello 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 please enjoy right we're now back up to 40 emeralds so you've now got ranked up we can now buy uh chiseled stone bricks he also buys smooth stone the good news is i do have a lot of smooth stone so we can go sell all of that to him uh if we manage to find him again yep this guy here yes Right. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Okay. So we get four emeralds per stack. It's super, super easy to trade this stuff as well. So again, another rank up. So this guy is selling polished andesite and polished diorite. That's different. We didn't have polished diorite before, but I think it goes without saying. We're just going to go ahead and buy the andesite because andesite is just better than diorite. Fight me if you think that's, you know, wrong. Hey, look at this. White terracotta and light grey glazed terracotta. That's actually really interesting. Huh. That is definitely different. I am glad I have myself another mason in which case. And yeah, these two last ones I'm pretty sure are the same no matter uh, what the dude is. Like I've been looking up on the wiki what the brand new 1.14 trades are. And on expert level, apparently they can have one or two colors of terracotta or one or two colors of glazed terracotta. So yeah, this is pretty freaking sweet guys, honestly. Ah, oh, look at these two! <laughs> huh, interesting. So, I just noticed that one grow up and it became a cleric. Of all things, a cleric. Maybe there was an unclaimed brewing stand or something? Although, to be honest, I don't really think there's that many brewing stands inside this place. Why it became a cleric... I don't actually know. But anyways, uh, we've got one more little villager here to grow up. I'm hoping this one will indeed be a librarian. Alrighty, guys. So I just discovered... So we've got a cleric there, and they're, they're both clerics. I don't understand why they are both clerics and why, more to the point, we have such an influx of clerics. Like, I'm pretty sure we've got like six or seven of the buggers at this point. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Uh, buddy, that's, <laughs> that's not a very good place to spawn, is it, you, oh my god, what a doofus. Ah, okay, I think I've just discovered a bug, guys, I know this is snapshots, obviously, but, uh, something worth mentioning. For whatever reason, clerics use lecterns as their station. So every time a cleric goes up to a lectern, I hear the, uh, you know, the brewing potion sound as if it was using a brewing stand. So, yeah, I've been spending literally the last half hour trying to figure out why these guys aren't changing to a librarian. I mean, obviously, these guys won't because apparently, according to the wiki, anyone who isn't a novice will not change their profession. Whereas, have we got a novice? Yeah, a novice. Anyone who hasn't been ranked up will uh, reportedly uh, change their profession. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get around this. Alrighty, guys. So, I did something that was probably frowned upon. What I actually decided to do was get rid of all of the brewing stands, all of the lecterns, then kill the two cleric novice villagers, 
And then what I did is place the lecterns back down. And then a few of the other villagers bred up again. So we've actually got some more librarians. So actual librarians. So all we need to do is find them. Uh, so there's a master one over there. Uh, huh, are you both? Hey, these guys are both novices. So let's have a look. So 24 paper. Uh, whoa. Holy guacamole. Power five. Ye gods. Okay, I mean, I think it goes without saying. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to rank these guys up as much as humanly possible. Uh, which one was it? This one. Hello. What else have you got? Riptide 3? What? I haven't even got a Riptide 3 book in this entire world. Hell yeah, boy. That's amazing. Okay, if we, uh, if we sold books to this guy... Uh, we could probably get ourselves a whole bunch more stuff. All right, right what do you got? Looting two. We already have looting enchants. Uh-huh. So these guys don't seem to have any kind of discounts yet. Interesting. Uh, we're going to need some more emeralds, guys. Okay, well, uh, the good news is I'm pretty sure... Yep, I got quite a lot of them in here. Yeah. All right, all right. All in the name of science, guys. We're going to see about, uh, you know, uh, trading and stuff. Yes. That's what we're going to do. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And apparently we need uh, books. Wow. This guy is like super stingy. Do I still not have enough? Unbelievable. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to wait until he's done. Oh, yeah. Look. Look at this. This guy is now offering a discount. Pretty cool. All right. So I guess the more we trade. Oh, yeah. Another new one. Thorns 3. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's just get some more bookshelves. Why not? I mean, we're going to be selling the books back to them. So if I went ahead and got myself a regular axe, then all will be good. So, yeah. All right. Uh, two thorns, two books. Yeah, why not? Hey, how come this guy is, like, increasing his prices? I traded with him. What a jerk. All right, two of those. And this guy should level up. Wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Right, we've got efficiency two. That's terrible. All of these are terrible. However, it appears we can level them up again. Okay. So gold standard. Fire aspect two. Uh, might just buy a bunch of glass. There we go. That's enough to hopefully rank them up again. There we go. All right. And we're going down the bottom here. So written books. Uh-huh. Right. One, two. Yep. Okay. That was a little bit steep. But oh well. Right. Diamond standard. And we get ourselves a name tag. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's see who else wants to go. We've got this guy here with Riptide 3. We can sell him a bunch of books. Yep, there we go. Another level up, please. Uh, which one? This one? Yeah. All right, what do you got here, buddy? Fire Protection 1. Absolutely terrible. Right. Come on. Come on. You know you want to give me something better than that. Uh, wait, more compasses? Really? Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, I guess we can make ourselves a bunch of maps if we so wished. I mean, that's always a cool thing, right? Uh, name tag. Oh, right, so you're now master standard. So we've got this guy over here now with looting two. Uh, and he's on the verge of being able to get ourselves some more stuffs. Uh, the sad news is I'm going to have to try and find one of my other villagers to sell them paper and stuff. Because, yeah. Oh, hello. Right. Aha. Yes. Yes. More, please. Thanks. Right, that should be enough to rank up that other guy, I hope. Ugh. Gosh, we have spent an unholy amount of diamonds today. Uh, not diamonds, emeralds today. Oh, gosh. Are you guys all outside now? You having a bit of a play outside? Oh, gosh. Dude, I literally can't see what's going on anymore. This is terrible. Right, that one's master. Which one are you? Master? Novice. Yes, right. Hey, you're selling them for only three now. Three for three. That's pretty good. All right. Let's get you ranked up there, brother. There you go. All right. Lantern. Yeah. Hey, look at that. We can get one for one if we sold him books. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Wait, what? One book for an emerald. Why would you Why would you not want this, sir? Come on. There you go. Ah, beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Right. Another level up. Go on, buddy. Go on. Uh, still no... So wow, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at this. We can totally trade ink sacks. That's always a cool thing. Come on, man. Give me another book. Dang it. Uh, nope. No sign of books. Look at that. They're only selling them for one now, though. That's pretty good. Wait. Four of those. Why not? That should be enough for final stage. And it's just going to be a name tag. Okay. Sadly, no real decent books. I mean, power five. 
and Riptide 3 are absolutely excellent. But yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There are way too many freaking dudes here. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. You can't seriously breed again. No. Oh my god, they're breeding again. What the hell? You absolute crazy dudes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, another baby's about to come out. Wait, one of these guys isn't very happy. Why? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you breeding, man? Oh my god, why? Oh my gosh. This is so dumb. I cannot believe they're breeding again. There isn't possibly any more space for them. There's not enough beds, man. Holy guacamole. I don't understand. I don't understand. One of them seems to be saying no for some reason. Oh my word. Well, guys, what you're witnessing here is a bit of a villager fest. Oh my gosh. This is actually so dumb. <laughs> oh my word. So I think what I'm going to do is get out of there and end this episode here because holy guacamole. Yeah, th there's a lot of stuff going on there. We have an actual problem with iron golems invading that space there. And they seem to have gone ahead and completely destroyed the freaking crops. So that's a thing. Well, anyways, guys, I think on that note, we're going to end this episode here. It's been an episode of villager trading and learning how the villagers work. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. If you did, then do be sure to drop a like rating. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. But for now, it is time for me to head off. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>